A little over a week ago, WTOL 11 covered the demolition of Rosemary Apartments, where 16-year-old Joshua Sorrell was ex excuse me, exploring with friends and then fell five stories to his death. Now, for the last six years, his family held an annual blood drive in his honor. Our Trent Croce spoke with him earlier, and now he joins us here in studio. Trent, what are they saying this year is different? Well, Tatiana, the family says they're relieved because the place which has haunted them for the years is officially gone. And though nothing will bring Joshua back, the 400 pints of blood they collected over the years, in today's blood drive, they say, makes it all better. I let the kids paint their bedrooms within reason, whatever color they wanted. This is the color that he picked out. It was called lizard green. I said, are you sure? And he goes, absolutely. Typically, a blood drive's theme color is red, since it's the color of oxygenated blood. But two times a year at the Joshua Sorrell's blood drive, green is mixed in. It was his favorite color. Back in June of 2016, family and friends started a blood drive a month after Joshua's death. Joshua was a member of the Red Cross Club at Whitmer High School, donated his own blood on several occasions. It just seemed to make sense. There was nothing that we could do to bring Joshua back, but there was something positive that we could make happen. We also have a lot of regular Red Cross staff that come out, so we've become like family and friends with them too. That positivity made its way to longtime supporter Tiffany Smith, who's been a donor from the very beginning. Yeah, they're amazing people, so um, now I'm not, I don't work for the Red Cross anymore, but I still make sure that I come out and donate on their drives to celebrate Josh. Jessica Hayden started at the Red Cross two years ago. The Sorrells event was the first blood drive she'd ever trained at. I love being able to keep his memory alive with them and being part of that process and making the day go as smoothly for them as I can because it's so important. And just how long will the family continue these blood drives? As long as we're able to. As long as we can. Yep, we will continue to do it. And then we do another one in July, which is Joshua's birthday. So in July, it just is poetic that way. The Red Cross says blood donations are always needed to help people in tragic events. If for some reason you can't give, don't worry, you can volunteer instead. More information on the Red Cross, visit our website, WTOL.com. Reporting in Toledo, Trent Croce, WTOL 11. On